guys it's Ashley welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me for another video today hope you're all doing very well and having a great start to your week so today I am here to share part two of my collective haul with you guys if you watched my previous video you would have probably seen a little disclaimer at the end that despite my best efforts I did forget to share some pieces with you guys uh, hence that video being part one. If you did not watch my previous video, I will link it down below if you would like to check it out. Uh, basically, in summary, it was a collective haul, uh, all Chanel pieces, basically sharing what I have been up to uh, throughout the past year. Some items I shared on Instagram, um, some items were a surprise for everybody, but um, all of those pieces were not shared yet on YouTube. So that was part one. This video is part two. Um, most of these pieces are Chanel with a little bit of Gucci thrown in there. So yes, that is why we are here. So if you would like to see part two, keep watching. So starting out with a few SLGs that I'd like to share with you guys. The first item I have here is this little guy. And this is a Chanel key pouch and a beautiful gray caviar with ruthenium hardware. And to show you guys, the combo was just outstanding. Gray with ruthenium was just amazing. And this is the design that zips on two sides. And when you open it up, it's very spacious and it does have the key ring that you can keep your keys on um, but this is also very spacious you can put coins in here cards anything that you would like um, I have used this for coins and I have also used it for the key fob to my car um, I keep all my other keys in my six key holder but as you guys know key fobs are rather bulky so rather than let it hang out of the six key holder I kind of had its own little compartment uh, not to mention it's not necessarily good for ignitions I have learned to have all that weight hanging off so um, again why I like to keep my key fob by itself but this is a great piece I highly recommend it and of course very durable in the caviar so the Chanel key pouch in gray caviar with ruthenium hardware oh and before we continue how could I get out of order and not share with you guys my bag of the day that you'll notice back there, which is my gorgeous Chanel Red Jumbo Double Flap in caviar with silver hardware. Uh, again, you guys may check out my previous video if you would like, but I revealed that beauty in that video. So that is the bag that I am currently rocking. So continuing on, I have another SLG to share with you guys, and this piece is absolutely incredible. So this is a Chanel card holder, and this is in fact a new style of card holder, the one that has the top zip compartment. And mine is in the black lambskin with a light gold hardware. I'm trying to show you guys the details, my apologies. The hardware just gleams in the light. Just a quick little overview. So basically, just like former card holders or uh, the other style of card holders, if you will, because of course they are still available as well, you have a front slip compartment, one card slot, and then on the back you have one, two, three card slots, which is awesome. But then my favorite feature is the center zipped compartment and as you guys can see I'm currently using this piece I use this to house my coins so I could not be happier with this beauty and it features the burgundy interior so uh, perfect for coins being that it is a dark interior and I have a good bit of coins in there uh, if you guys have not seen this piece what makes it extra special is that it does have this um, side gusset, if you will, 
so it does expand if you place larger items such as coins in the center. So aside from the top zip compartment and a little bit of a difference in the layout of the card slots, this is the other difference with this card holder. And again, I had mentioned this in my previous video, I am not shy when it comes to lambskin for my SLGs and smaller bags, and I could not be happier with this piece. I have probably had it perhaps close to a year, but uh, nonetheless, I have used it ever since I got it. For my coins, I gave my round coin purse by Louis Vuitton a little bit of a break, and uh, this piece is absolutely flawless, so I could not recommend it enough the Chanel card holder in black lambskin with light gold hardware with the top zip compartment. Okay, and then kind of switching beats here, this is another accessory but not a small leather good. The next item I have to share with you guys are these beauties right here. And these are the Chanel Shield sunglasses. They're absolutely fabulous. And mine are in the silver, as you can see. Absolutely love them. These came in several different colors. I'll just go ahead and try them on for you guys. So again, these are silver and um, they have a and a reflective lens, which is absolutely awesome. They are so fabulous. I absolutely love them. I love the reflective lenses. I think you know, they are just very mysterious and chic and just awesome. So love these beauties. And I'll just try to catch a little bit of the detail for you guys. If you can see, you can see a little bit there. There's just the CC logo on the frames. I'm trying to capture this for you guys, but as you can see, the crisscross design, which is so awesome. So, yes. So the Chanel Shield sunglasses. Absolutely love these. All right, guys, and the last uh, several items I have to share with you guys are all shoes. So we will do the Chanel pieces uh, next, and then I'll finish up with a touch of Gucci. So the first item I have to share with you guys, I looked for these for the longest time, and I was so bummed out thinking that I had missed them. They are from 2015 or 2016. If anybody's interested, I can get you the specifics, but it was one of those two years. And I had always loved them, admired them. I was open to a few different color options, but really, really wanted these. And I lucked out when I called around and um, Saks actually still had them in store, which I was blown away. So, allow me to share with you guys these beauties right here. And these are my Chanel sneakers. Again, I am, I'm pretty sure they're from 2015. I'd be happy to share the information with you guys if you would like. Um, but yeah, the uh, Chanel sneakers, better known as the Chanel trainers. They are just awesome. And I'm gonna put one shoe down so we can show you guys some details on one of them. So as you can see, these are in gray and white with some hints of black and they have a variation there is um, some suede some leather um, just lots of different materials that collectively just make these absolutely incredible so we have the suede cc logo turning around to the front and i do wear these a lot so they do show a little bit of wear on the white but Nothing too terrible. In the back, I love the quilted appearance. So cool. Yeah, so absolutely amazing find. These are so comfortable. 
Um, so chic. You can dress these up, dress them down. I have had so much fun with these beauties. So my Chanel trainers. And the next pair of shoes, this is a little different from what I usually go for. I will say, it, this might surprise you guys, but I was actually into designer shoes before I was all out into designer handbags. And at the time that I was into, or I should say starting to grow my designer shoe collection, I was still into like Juicy Couture and Coach and things to that nature. Uh, and Dior was actually my very first love as far as um, handbags go. So I ventured into Dior, um, Jimmy Choo next, and then finally into Louis Vuitton. The rest is history. But uh, my designer shoe collection is something that um, has been growing for years and years. Bags are my number one, but shoes are my number two. So I kind of go through spurts. Uh, as far as bags go, my collection does change because of course, if I don't use a bag, I have gotten better with trying to sell a bag because handbags are more expensive than shoes, first and foremost. Secondly, the care that you can provide to a handbag, you can generally get a pretty good return on your investment, whereas shoes, of course, are a little bit different. So I think I've sold maybe one or two pairs of designer shoes over the years, but for the most part, uh, I just kind of keep collecting, so that's why generally I don't buy too many shoes because I do have a decent amount. Um, so with that being said, uh, you guys have probably noticed that I am somewhat brand specific when it comes to uh, my handbags. I've, you know, branched out to Chanel within the past couple years, which is huge for me, uh, but shoes are different. I appreciate all brands and all styles so with that being said the next pair of shoes I'd like to share with you guys are these beauties right here they are absolutely fabulous and these are the Chanel mules and these are from uh, 17p and yeah the box just reads mules um, in black again I'd be happy to share any uh, product codes if you guys would like, but um, they are in black lambskin with black patent leather toes. So I absolutely love these. So let me again pick up one shoe to show you guys some details here. And again, these were kind of taking a little bit of a risk because this is different from my norm. You'll see the little CC logo. These are in a very light gold um, as far as the hardware goes, which is great because they can kind of pass for gold or silver um, when they're on your feet. And um, they are flat. They have the tiniest little heel that the bottom looks like. Again, I have been wearing these a good bit and I have to try to capture Look at that chain detail. How fabulous. I just love pairing these with uh, any of my bags that feature the, uh, the chain strap, such as my Jumbo or my chain around Maxi. It just, it just looks so awesome together. And I have to tell you guys, these shoes are incredibly comfortable. I mean, I'm blown away. And they actually carry me through a decent amount of the seasons. I would not wear these, of course, in the rain or in the snow or in the all-out winter, uh, but as we are approaching spring, I've gotten these beauties out. If it's not too cold, of course, um, due to the fact that your heel is exposed, um, they're perfect, and um, pretty much spring and fall is the best, and summer if it's not too terribly hot, because since they are leather, uh, you know, they can get a little bit warm, but no break-in period. We actually uh, took a little road trip this past weekend. Um, we did a couple things, visited them all. We were out all day and I wore these. And that was the first time I've worn them all day and I was absolutely blown away. I brought another pair of shoes just in case and never looked back from the second I put these on. So 
the Chanel Mules from 17P in black lambskin with the patent black leather toe. What a mouthful. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we are down to the last item I'd like to share with you guys. And again, I did already reveal that this is an item by Gucci. I have tried handbags, and I've discussed this in previous videos. I have tried handbags from other designers in the past and just didn't wear them. Um, I will be, my next video that I will be filming will be my updated handbag collection. And of course, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and then I do have Dior bags in my collection. My first love, I, I think I will always have some in my collection. Uh, some of them have sentimental meaning, etc. But um, despite the fact that handbag wise, I can't venture out too far again with shoes, I absolutely can. And I love Gucci's shoes. My apologies if you hear my son downstairs. With that being said, the last item I'd like to share with you guys are these beauties right here. And these are the Gucci Bloom Slides. And um, these have been out for a couple years now. Very, very popular amongst our Lux community. So I had to bite the bullet and I was able to enjoy these throughout the entire last summer. And I would say I probably wore them five out of seven days in a week. I mean, I wore them tons. And as you can see, they are in excellent condition. And we'll focus on one shoe in case you guys have not seen these and you'd like to see the details. I absolutely love the Blooms collection. I've actually considered um, adding a bag or an SLG to my collection. These are awesome. Aside from just a little bit of scuffing here in the front, they are in amazing condition and I look forward to enjoying them for years to come. So my Gucci Bloom pull slides. So I think that covers everything guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And again, as I mentioned in my previous videos, if you guys have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below. I will be happy to get to those for you guys. I am still working on requests that I had received from before. I do keep them in my phone in a note section, so um, I will certainly get to each and every one of them. Um, but stay tuned, my handbag collection video will be coming up next. And followed by that will be handbags I have sold and why. So thank you guys so much. Have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.